Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about my favorite tips for editing novels. Um, currently I am in the editing stage of one of my novels and I wrote down 10 of my favorite tips that help me edit my novels, get that done because it can be a tedious task and I just find I like to share my tips. So let's just jump right in it with the first tip. My very first tip is to print out your manuscript. I know everyone says this, but I never understood it. I was like, I don't need to print out my manuscript. I can totally do it on the computer. No, print out your manuscript, whether that is through a proof copy, just papers that you put in a binder, however you want to print it, print it out because you find so so many errors when you print something out rather than looking it on a computer because it's a different form and you're just like oh my gosh how did I miss that when I was editing on my computer so definitely print out your manuscript my second tip is use colored pens when you're editing on that printed piece of paper so there's two ways I like to do this one is a new pen for every chapter and this just honestly like compartmentalizes the chapters for me when I'm editing so if I edited five through eight today I can be like oh chapter seven was in the bright pink pen and I will remember better I that's just how my brain works I also do it with my notes for school second way I like to use the colored pen is a new pen for every major plot point so once you hit another plot point you can change so each plot point is compartmentalized in your mind and you're able to you can be like oh well when Harry gets his letter from Hogwarts I wrote that in a purple pen or whatever plot point you're working on third tip is cut but don't delete and by this I mean cut things out of your novels but don't delete them put them in a separate document because you might want those pieces later on and you don't want to delete them because then they're gone forever but I will have a separate document called my delete document and sometimes I don't use what's in there for the book and sometimes I'll take whatever I had and put them in another part of the book it just makes it easy so you can see what you have deleted from your novel and see if you want to use any of that again number four is rewrite in two docs so for me i will put my original draft that i'm working on whether that is the first one or so on and then i will pull up a blank document and put them side by side and i will write that way the reason i do it this way is so i can use the lines that i definitely know i want to keep in my document because I will forget them when I'm writing them and then I'll be like, oh, I really love this line, but I can't fit it in. I just like to have two documents to write and edit with because it just makes it a whole lot easier. And visually, I can look back and forth and be like, what have I changed? What do I need to change? What is working in the scene and what is not? And I can play with a new document rather than messing up my draft that I want to keep not mess up number five is kind of along those lines and it is take advantage of track changes and by this i mean use track changes when you are finished with your printed out copy so take like chapter one's edits and put them in that document but use track changes so you can comment on it the changes are in a different color and you can see those and you can accept or deny them if you choose to. Uh, I just really like to see it because it really is, again, another color way for me to see my changes and I'm able to distinguish, oh, I forgot a comma there while if I'm looking back and forth between my paper and that document, that document, it gets a little tedious and I forget something that I used on my paper document. My sixth tip is read your work aloud or use a voice reader. So I like to use um, just the, the Microsoft voice reader, like the read aloud um, person. Um, they're not very good because they're a computer and they have no personality, but I'm telling you it finds like uh, mistakes that I didn't even hear when someone else was reading it or when I was reading it in my mind 
And that's also the same with when you read something aloud. Uh, it's a different tone than what is intended on the page, but that tone is important as well, if that makes sense. I read to my dogs. Um, you saw Lucy in my AuthorTube newbie tag. I read to her and she really likes it. So find your pet or a stuffed animal or someone to read it to and it just really helps you hear the story out loud and you can be like, oh my gosh, that does not work out loud, especially dialogue. Dialogue is one of the hardest things to flow nicely. So if you read it out loud, you can know if it sounds like a real conversation. My seventh tip is a really hard one for me because I hate doing it, but it's so effective. And that is set aside your document or your manuscript for at least a week. But if you need more time, set it aside for two weeks, a month, whatever you want. So you can come back with a clean set of eyes because I have gone from editing or writing and then I'll edit like right afterwards and I notice such a difference between that style of editing for when I come back a week or two later and look at my writing and I'm like oh my gosh what is this so I think it's really beneficial to give yourself a break kind of shove it aside and work on something else for a week or so that way you can put a fresh set of eyes on it and be able to work through those changes that need to be done whereas before you might have not seen those because you were so in the world or in your story that you just you don't see them sometimes my eighth editing tip is write out all of your chapters and the major plot points in them i am a strong believer that each chapter should have a point in it that drives the story along and by doing this method of writing down each chapter and each major plot point in it, it really shows where the filler chapters are and what can be like cut into another chapter um, and where there's just nonsense in your book where you just have this scene and although you love it, it's not prevalent to the plot so it doesn't need to be there. Um, this really helps that. Uh, I love this method. I do it all the time. Uh, but I'm the type of person that's like very much, I like to write it down. I like to look at it as a big picture in a notebook and all of that kind of stuff. I'm very hands-on with that. But if you're feeling like your story is dragging a little in some points, really try this method. It really evolved dark radiance for me because I noticed a chapter that was just like no like it had significance but it wasn't like if I took this chapter out it would determine the whole plot of the novel so I highly suggest this method I literally have said highly suggest multiple times and you know what Emma Books said that she says highly suggest as well and I think it's just the way booktubers and author tubers talk so you know what I'm not even ashamed of it my ninth tip is use some type of editing app or Grammarly. I pay for Grammarly premium and I really really love it. It is a little bit pricey. It's about $30 a month but it's highly worth it but they do have a free version and I suggest going and using this free version because it points out moments that are needed like you missed a comma here, you missed a m dash here, like all these different things that Sometimes as humans we miss and although it's a computer it does pick up and you can like deny your the changes I usually will do this when my novel is ready to go to my editor And I just want to make sure I clean it the best of my abilities And I'll do one last run through into Grammarly and then change it and that has really saved my editor's time and just making sure the manuscript is as polished as it can be before it goes to a professional editor. And my last tip is keep another Word document or maybe the same Word document as your throwaway uh, pile. And this page or new document is to write notes about plot holes and also the developments that you want to make. 
if you write it down, you won't forget it and that way you have it there and you're able to go back and get these. Um, I know I have been the type of person that I'll think about something, I'll be like, oh, I need to change that in the novel and then an hour goes by and I forget about it because I was sitting in class and when that epiphany happened and then I remember it 12 days later when I'm past that chapter. So this is a really good tip to make sure you're not missing things in your novel that you want to get done um, and it just has like it keeps you on track it also points out the plot holes and that way you can go back and rework your novel with the plot holes after one round of edits and you don't forget those plot holes because sometimes you'll read it and you'll be like I can't remember this plot hole and then you have to go back and read the entire novel again um, and this also helps when you are about to send to betas you can have if you are finding this plot hole you can have it in the back of your mind and on a document so you can see if betas catch it as well and those are all my favorite editing tips i really love editing um it's one of my favorite parts of the writing process uh just because you already have the bones of your story and then you can add the meat and like what my writing instructor always said is your story is like a skeleton and after the first draft you have the bones and the second draft you add the ligaments and the tendons and all that and then the third draft you add the skin and then fourth draft you make it all pretty and add like the makeup and the, the hair and all of that so I always really like editing because it's the fun part where you get to play a little more after your first draft you get to play with these characters even more and you get to be in their heads because you already know the story you know the story or the gist of it and you're able to just have a little bit more fun in my opinion let me know your favorite editing tips down below so i can learn something from you and i will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>